Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021-22 Panini Donruss Soccer. Two box, random country break, number 30, number 30. Um, all cards ship. There's the country list right there. I think, did we pull the kaboom out of this? It's been a minute or two since we since we got there. Big thanks to this group here. And uh, big thanks to the countries right here. Let's roll it. Randomize names and countries four to six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A couple more times. Nine and tenth and final time. I feel like Ramdon is running a little slow today. We got Ringo down to Dayton. Four and a six, ten times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got Brazil down to Colombia. All right, Ringo with Brazil, Tim with Spain, Zach with Portugal and Poland, Tim with the Netherlands, Ringo with Belgium, Chris with Mexico, Carlos with the United States. I think the U.S. women are playing tonight. Greg with England, Martin with uh, Korea and Uruguay, Robert with Le Bleu, Chris with Sweden, Norway and Croatia, Dayton with Argentina, Carlos with the Azuri, Harry with Germany, and Dayton with Colombia. Let's order these alphabetically. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. There's a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. Here on a Thursday night, random country break number 30. We actually have some, uh, some soccer, some international soccer on. I think. The U.S. women facing the uh, facing the Czech Republic, I believe. We're getting into a pretty exciting. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting year of soccer. First of all, we got this current year's Champions League action has restarted. Liverpool beat Inter Milan today 2-0. After a little bit of a sluggish start, they got they eventually got the comfortable win. The Premier League season, all the major European soccer leagues are coming to a close. Liverpool have a very slight chance to try to chase a, uh, a league spot, try to win the uh, league if Manchester City stumbles a little bit. Which may not be likely, but there's still a mathematical chance. Um, but they're still involved in both domestic cups and the Champions League, so it still could be a triple in it for them. And then we've got the World Cup in the fall, which will be a unique thing. Fall World Cup. And that's what this product is kind of all about. It's the, the road to the World Cup cutter. Good luck, everybody. Remember, all card ship.
We got a press proof Hugo Loris. Nice for France. Oh, that's an unfortunate little ding right down there, France. That's Robert. Apologies. Must must have been in the manufacturing process or the pack loading process will often create that. Uh, 194 out of 199 though. Great uh, English players. Remember, they almost won the Euros last year. Last year? Last year. So, they're in a good, good position to make a deep run in the World Cup this year. All those England cards will go to Greg. And we got Miguel Layun, Kit Kings, for Mexico. That'll be for Chris. With L3. Paper here, but if you get one of the bigger names, it may be worth taking a look at how much of that the paper will go. Nice immaculate sold out. Awesome. Now all we need to do, Jackie, is just to move those those filler breaks where we're giving away spots in immaculate, and then we're in, we'll be in Breaksville. So let's keep working on that, ladies and gentlemen. Jasmine'sCaseBreaks.com. Let's get into that. Let's get that in tonight. And that's the last two boxes of Immaculate, too. 185 out of 199. Sergio Ramos for España. That'll be for Tim. Not my favorite player in the world, but... Those fans of Spain and Real Madrid like him. Whoa. Is that a, or is, is Panini trolling me, or is that what I think it is? Look at that. The beautiful game auto. A very short name right here for Brazil. Wow. It's Pele. That's awesome. That's for Ringo and Brazil. Has Pele been recently? I think he's in the hospital right now. He is getting up there in age. He is 81 years old. And a Pele rookie card, apparently, was the first $1 million card, according to ESPN. Yeah, Pele going through some chemo chemotherapy. A 
but he's still hanging in there. That is awesome. Nice one for Ringo. Congrats. Gets the bell. That's a nice hit. And hopefully Pele will get well soon. Two out of 349. Press proof. Leo Dubois for France. That's for Robert. And yeah, there's Ringo. Congrats. Very nice. Does, where does this guy end up? Does he does he leave Dortmund? That's for Chris in the Sweden Norway Croatia combo. I wish Norway was involved in the World Cup this year. I don't think they're qualified, so which is a shame. That really raised his stock this year, but. Or maybe if he moves to an, an English Premier League club in the, in the summer. And we got Mateo Kovacic, 33 out of 99. Blue parallel for Croatia. That's also for Chris. There's a Jeremy Doku. Shoot. Wide. 57 out of 349. That'll be for Ringo in Belgium. There's a marvelous Cristiano Ronaldo insert for Zach. Yeah, Canada has been the Canadian men have been having a great, a great qualifying campaign, sitting right up on top. I think the final, I think the final two or three qualifying matches, the end uh, towards the end of March, I want to say. There's David De Gea, 10 out of 149 for Spain. That'll be for Tim. And there's your first box.
is late March the final qualifying window for the world? Is everybody done by then, by late March? And then probably just some late summer, early fall um, friendlies just to get the national teams warmed up again. And then a fall winter World Cup or a winter World Cup basically. I think it starts late November, which will be, which will be very interesting, I think. It's going to be a wild, uh, a wild month or so of sports because if the World Cup starts, uh, let's see. Let's see exactly. Let's see exactly when it starts. Yeah, November twenty first. Goes to November twenty one through eighteen, December. Which is kind of crazy if, if you think about it because that means for the first time in ever, maybe? I don't think they've ever had it not in the summer, right? Oh, right, then there's those half spots, right? I don't think it's ever been in, in the fall. Yeah, the first World Cup in... It'll be wild if the wild get in. There's no wild in soccer, unfortunately. You might be thinking about hockey. But, um, but yeah, November 21st. So basically, like Thanksgiving. It'll be, well, the World Cup will be competing against Thanksgiving, against the NFL. Usually it's on its own. Uh, you know, against the baseball season, but now by then it'll be it'll be a a great sports equinox. It'll be it'll be World Cup soccer. We'd have basketball. Pro probably late late stages of the NFL season. Hockey in the mix. So that that should be a lot of fun. Happens to the best of us, Rex. Happens to the best of us. We got Diedrich Boyata, 91 out of 99 for Belgium. A reminder, we've got two more Chile's Cup games coming your way. First on Sunday, it's the United States against New Zealand. That match on ABC. And then the final match in the U.S. Wednesday against Iceland. And there's a nice uh, press proof. Erlen Holland. Marvels. Insert for Norway. Baseball might be starting by by when? And for the United States, Bobby Wood. Signature Series autograph for Carlos and the United States. Oh, by November? Uh, they'll probably just roll it over till next year, right? If that's the case. It'd probably be disastrous if we lost the entire season. And we've got uh, Jamal Musiala for the Germans, 300 out of 349. That'll be for Harry. Roberto Firmino and Mason Mount for the three Lions. That's 59 out of 199. Greg with England. Smith, six goals last season for the Portland Thorns, the 
This is Liverpool's Roberto Firmino for Brazil, Ringo. Chelsea's Kai Havertz for Germany. Rex, you feel bad for the rookies and the older vets like Pools and Miggy were about to retire and have records broken or break records. Yeah. Or I, I wonder, although I wonder if those older players are kind of like are kind of secretly, kind of secretly being like, um, are kind of secretly being like, I like the extra time off. <laughs> Ooh, nice red Erling Holland. 27 out of 149. That is for Chris and the Sweden Norway Croatia combo. Yeah, apparently there was a productive meeting, 15 minute meeting. Between the players and the uh, and the owners, the, re the representatives. I also read that there was a side meeting as well with an extra twenty minutes of discussion. So progress is being made. There's Memphis Depay kit series for the Orange. That's going to go to Tim, who has the Netherlands. Courtois. The last stack coming up here. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Tyler Adams press proof to 349 for uh, the United States. Carlos. And a hollow Trent Alexander Arnold, another Liverpool man. For England, for Greg. I don't know. I mean, the length of the meeting does not necessarily, the longer the meeting doesn't mean it's more productive. Out of 199, I would think that a shorter meeting might be more, you know, without any reports of so so and so storming off. Short of that, a short meeting probably means that they're. I would almost take it as they didn't really have much discuss, or they're making progress. Is kind of what I see. Because they're like, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. I feel like a longer meeting means like there's more tension. Longer meeting, more tension, more arguing, more negotiating. Could go either way. Pretty nice break, ladies and gentlemen. That Red Holland was nice. We got a Bobby Wood autograph. Some other nice stuff. And, of course, we have the Pele autograph. Ooh. Very nice. 
And there you go, gang. Another two-box break of Donner Soccer in the store. We're going to be breaking and talking soccer all year long, right up through the World Cup. So keep joining our breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com and keep joining the conversation. I'm Joe. I'll soccer with you next time. Bye-bye.